What's popping, YouTube? What's going on? Just left the gym. I'm having a good morning. Uh, actually, see my friend, a friend of mine. It's interesting. Um, I get along better with people that are usually 20, 30, even sometimes 40 years my senior. Um, one of my neighbors is about, he's, he's like 52, but he's super cool. I just seen him at the gym and uh, him and his daughter were playing pool. So I sat there and played pool with him this morning and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Yesterday was a little trying. Um, today is gonna be a good day though. I'm not gonna let to, I'm not gonna let myself uh, be too stressed out. So, but if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button. And we're back, man. I got me a fresh shower. Um, I was fresh out the gym when y'all seen me, but I'm fresh and clean. You dig? I had beard, beard gang. You feel me? <laughs> if you've not done so already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, helps out the algorithm of this YouTube channel. So I would appreciate that. Um, but yeah, today is starting off pretty good, man. It's about 12.09 uh, here on the West Coast on Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. You dig. But the day don't stop, man. I'm the type of nigga I work on any holiday, nigga. I work on Christmas. I work, I work on New Year's Day. Um, actually, I won't work on New Year's Day. That's my mom's birthday, so I wouldn't do that. But you feel me? But look, so today, what I'm gonna do? Um, the whole central theme. This is your first time tapping into Kevin uh, Kevin Robinson Jr. the podcast or YouTube channel. Um, this whole evolution of this podcast is, or just YouTube channel, is about being progressive. Okay. So I'm gonna give y'all some books, um, 10 books that have changed my life, all right? Um, my grandmother always says something, if you wanna hide something, put it in a, you wanna, you wanna hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Um, it used to be illegal for black people to read in this country. Um, your literacy was seen as a, um, as a threat, you feel me? So, um, Reading is something that I'm very a big, I'm a very big component of reading. Um, I read a lot. Um, this year, I haven't read a lot. I've only read 12 books this year. Um, but I generally consume audio books now. I used to do a lot of hard copy, but I do more audio books. And that's because I check out the app. It's called Libby. You feel me? So all you need is a library card. And Libby will give you, um, you can get free audiobooks, man. So I would suggest for you to tap into the Libby app so you can get free audiobooks, all right? Or even if you're just into, uh, you got a Kindle or iPad, uh, some kind of tablet you want to read in that format, you can, um, they got ebooks too, you dig? So you can read like that. But, Let's get into it, man. So um, all of these books have meant something to me at some point in my life. Um, there's all different types, man. I got some, I think as a black man or black woman, a uh, black child in this country, you gotta have some consciousness. So I got some conscious books in here as well. I got some lot, I got some uh, uh, business books. I got some mindset books. Uh, I always talk about an abundance mindset. So that's key, right? But let's get into it, man. First book, man. Um, first book, this book, I remember reading this when I was uh, junior in high school. And uh, this book really changed um, how I seen, because uh, I always have always aspired to be a writer. I have three books myself. Um, two of them are, um, three of them are books that I put together that I self-published. Um, I put all three of them out last year, but I'm actually writing one right now that I'm very, something I've always wanted to write. Um, but anyways, so this book, 
was written by the author Nathan McCall, uh, Nathan McCall, and it's called Make Me Wanna Holla. Um, my creative writing teacher, and I only remember like three of my teachers and only two of them really had impacts on me, but this lady had a serious impact on me. Um, she was my favorite teacher of all of them. Miss Angelone, I know she's married now, so I don't know what her married name is, but Maria Angelo, Miss Angelo. So if you tap in Miss Angelo, I'm still nurturing that quiet storm like we used to say back in the day. But um, mind you, I read this book in the year 2000. This was 21 years ago, and this book still is very impactful. I like the way Nathan McCall uh, used his imagery and all that good stuff. And this book really showed me how to use imagery. Um, so I would suggest, man, even if you're not black, I would say tap into it. It's a really good book. The second book is something I read. Um, I'm gonna give a little backstory on all these. Um, I read this book in 2016. I was broke as fuck. I remember I, my PR business when I worked at music had just tanked. Um, I was broke. I was seriously broke. I think I was 33. Something like that. Uh, 32, 32. And I was broke, man. I was really fucked up, man. Um, about to lose my apartment. This was right before I moved in with my girlfriend um, at the time. But this book was called The Alchemist by uh, Paulo Coelho. And this book, literally, I'm gonna tell you, man, it helped me so much because I was at a point in my life where I was at the end of my rope I didn't know what the hell I was going to do next. I didn't know how I was going to make money next. I didn't know how I was going to feed myself. And this book is an incredible book. If you're at a point in your life where you're asking why and you want to get better, you know, you're not just wallowing in your misery and you're not trying to get better. But if you want to get better and you want to aspire to get better, the Alchemist is an amazing book. Uh, Paulo Coelho. The third book is this. Um, I think this book, I think, yeah, I actually was broke same year, 2016. It's before I got into real estate and everything now. Um, this book is The Power of Broke by Damon John. Um, a lot of you guys know him from the ABC TV show. Uh, what's it called? Something Sharks or whatever, uh, Shark Tank. Um, but he was the founder of FUBU. And for me, FUBU came out at a very... Um, pivotal time in my life. I was a teenager and FUBU was the hottest shit in the streets. You know, there was a point when I was in high school where everything I wore, everybody wore literally was black owned. Everything I wore was black owned. Sean John, FUBU, Fat Farm, um, a Nietzsche, all of that shit was black owned. You dig what I'm saying? So that was a really pivotal time in my life. Um, so yeah, The Power Broke was a definitely good book for me. And he basically wrote it from the standpoint of uh, how he started FUBU. And basically he had it from, he interviewed a bunch of different people. He interviewed um, Steve Aoki and he talked about how his dad, Steve Aoki's father is the, um, actually the founder of Benny Hanna's, the restaurant. So he talked about that and he interviewed a bunch of different people and how they persevered through and got successful, you know? So, uh, next book is um, Commons, the rapper Common, um, his memoir, which was called Let Love Have the Last Word. Let Love Have the Last Word. Um, I caught this shit as soon as it came out. Common is one of my favorite rappers. He's in my top 10 all time. Um, very underrated, lyrical rap guy. Um, B changed my life, you know, B, the album B changed my life. I might have to do an album's changed my life too, because I like doing this. But um, Let Love Have the Last Word. Like I said, it's a memoir. A lot of good game in that shit. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely tell you to tap into that. Number five is... Um, the Art of Human Chess, A Study Guide to Winning by Pimp and Ken. Um, I don't judge nobody by they live their life, you know what I mean? And for real, like, I'm from the Bay, so 
the whole like pimp culture and shit, like it is something that I was around. Um, I have friends of mine who, you know, they have uncles and aunts and all types of shit that were in the game. So that type of lifestyle was something that wasn't far fetched for me, but it was just something that I kind of was like, you can learn a lot from, and I always look at this, the three, the three P's, you know, the three most powerful types of people in this country or in general are uh, preachers, politicians, and pimps. You know what I'm saying? Um, they all have a platform. Uh, they're all charismatic as fuck. They all can speak extremely well. And people only listen to people that are charismatic and um, speak very well. But the art of human chess, man, it's a lot of good game in that shit. You know, you might be a square motherfucker. You might not fuck with, oh, he was a pimp. But for me, that book was the shit, you know. So I would recommend it if you're a young man. Um, you need some game, tap into that book, The Art of Human Chess by Pimpin' Ken. Um, the next book is, is, so this one is from David Henry, the author David Henry, and I actually read this book in 20... I used to have a thing where I used to just buy books on Amazon and collect them, and I wouldn't even read them for years. So this is one of those books I had for like two years just sitting in my bookcase, and I didn't get around to it until a couple of years later. Um, and uh, one thing I used to like to do when I lived in my old apartment is I used to like putting on like, uh, I would listen to Miles Davis, uh, Bitches Brew, or I would listen to um, A Love Supreme by um, uh, Coltrane, or I would even listen to something even more uh, contemporary. Like I would listen to, I like to listen to like instrumentals and shit. Like, while I'm reading, like there's this producer named Fat John, and John with no H, J-O-N. And he has some real dope instrumentals. So like a lot of times when I used to live in my old apartment, I'll put Fat John on and, you know, I'd read a lot of books. So the one book that I'm tapping into is by David Henry. And it's the, um, it's the biography on Richard Pryor. So the book is called Fairy is Cool. Richard Pryor in the world that made him, okay? Very, very dope book, very dope book. Um, my favorite books are biographies. I love biographies. I love reading someone's story, especially people that I admire, you know? The last biography I read was um, on Alfred Hitchcock, Hitchcock. Really good one. It was actually one of my favorite directors. Um, but yeah, so, Fury is cool. Richard Pryor in the world that made him. Great book. Grew up in Peoria, Illinois. He had a very, his grandmother was um, a madam of, uh, of a brothel. So he had a very interesting life. You know what I mean? Good book. Tap into it. Um, the next book is by Anton Bariola. Okay, so Anton Bariola. Um, this book is called, and this helped me because this book came out in the summer, I think, of 2013. And I wasn't even 30. I don't think I was 30. I think I was 29. And uh, this book helped me how to become a more uh, sophisticated gentleman. The book's called How to Be a Gentleman, the Contemporary Gentleman and Etiquette Book for the Urban Sophisticate. Uh, and it's by Anton Bariola, okay? So he has one for gentlemen and he has one called Gentlewoman. Um, and I have both of them. I, mean, I bought one for one of my friends at the time. Um, but yeah, this book is the truth, man. It, it, Anytime is actually from the Bay Area as well. Amazing. Um, follow him on Instagram, even if you haven't read any of his books. He has a crazy, uh, amazing content. He's dope. He's super dope. So I would definitely tell you to tap in with him. He, has a, he also has a book called The Gray, if I'm not mistaken. Really good book. Um, but yeah, anytime Bariola, it really helped me master becoming a more well-rounded Renaissance black man. You know what I mean? So I dig it. Um, so the next three are books for consciousness. You know what I mean? I come from the Bay, the land of the Black Panthers. 
Uh, the Bay is the most socially forward place in the country. I can't speak for the world. Um, the Black Panthers, uh, a lot of people don't know this. The Black Panthers, the hippie movement, as well as Sonny Barger, who was the founder of the Hells Angels, all came out of the same place, Oakland, California, in the 60s. All right, so you got three different ways of of living. You know, the hippie movement is free love, free spirited. And then you have the Black Panthers. Um, some people call them militant, but they were just, they had knowledge yourself. They wasn't with the bullshit. And then you had the white side of it, the one percenter, which was the Hells Angels. They come from Oakland, you know what I'm saying? I read, actually read Sonny Barger's book, uh, biography, autobiography, good book, good book. But, um. Yeah, so consciousness is very important. And this is something that was always instilled with me with my moms. Um, so I would tell you, like, if you tap into any of these books, I would tell you um, definitely, man, like tap into these. Number one, man, if you want to be conscious, and this book changed my life, The Isis Papers by, Dan by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. The Isis Papers changed my fucking life, man. I read this book when I was a teenager and then I read it again uh, in the last couple of years. I actually do have the PDF of it. So if you do want to tap into it, I can send you the PDF. All you got to do is email me and I'll send it to you. Um, I actually have a whole Google. Uh, I had a book club two years ago before COVID hit and um, it was called Black Minds. And it was um, a bunch of us, you know, uh, like-minded individuals and we're reading books and I might start doing it again. I might, um, I might do it. I might, um, uh, but if you're interested in something like that, tap in, maybe comment below. Let me know if you might be interested. I might, I might bring that shit back. You know, I might, um, but yeah, the ISIS papers, man, would change your life. She broke down Dr. Francis Chris Wilson, uh, she broke it down, white supremacy down to a T, to a T. It's a science, you know what I mean? Um, incredible book, tap into it. The second one is this, man, the United Independent Compensatory Concept for uh, for White Supremacy and Racism by Neely Fuller Jr., another master teacher, incredible book. Um, it's a textbook. Like he literally broke down every aspect of American society, politics, religion, economics, socioeconomics, um, government, military, food, biological warfare. He broke it down to a T. All right, so tap in, man. That book, The United Independent Compensatory Concept by Nelly Fuller Jr., amazing. And the last book is this, man, right. Huey Newton. Huey Newton, man. Huey Newton. Um, he had a book called To Die for the People. And it's basically a bunch of his speeches that he had. And he basically put them together into a book. Um, this book is not that long. But it's a bunch of, like I said, a collection of a bunch of his speeches that he put out um, over the years. And it's a super dope book, man. Super dope book. So... Like I said, those were 10 of the books that definitely changed my life, man. The last three were ones that, you know, if you black, I would definitely tell you to tap into the ISIS papers. Um, but yeah, that's it. I am having my, um, I'm having, so today is Thursday, November 11th. In three weeks, exactly, I'm gonna be having my second Zoom webinar where I'm gonna be teaching how, I'm a real estate investor by trade, um, and I've owned my real estate group, Pacific Home Buyers, since November 6th or November 7th of 2018. So basically, I'm gonna be doing another Zoom course, I haven't done one since April, on how I virtually wholesale properties. So basically, what that means is, I find properties at a discounted rate, I get them under contract, and I flip those contracts to a cash buyer. And in turn, I make a referral fee. The referral fee could be anywhere from 2,500, 5K, 10K, all the way up to 100K, depending on how much of a discount you uh, get the price at and how much the cash buyer is willing to pay, okay? And uh, I have been virtually wholesaling for a while. So basically most of the properties that I get 
uh, I would say a good 90 shit, man, maybe 90, 95% of them, I never walked in. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've wholesaled about 15 or 20 properties this year, and none of them have been properties that I've actually walked in. They're, all of them were properties that I was wholesaling virtually. And I teach how I do this basically through a phone and a laptop and uh, how I do it. I've been doing it for the last three years. So, uh, you know, I am gonna be teaching that, like I said, on December, Thursday, December 2nd, uh, 5 p.m. West Coast time, 8 p.m. East Coast time. So if you're interested in that, you can go below. It's called the Varsity Class Webinar. You can enroll below. It's only $59.99. I'm not charging a lot of money for it. It's gonna include all my assets, the official Varsity Class playbook, which I use to, I have all my CRM software, where I get my leads, everything, all hyperlinks. It's in a PDF form. You'll have that, as well as you'll get an on-demand version of the course um, that you'll be able to tap into whenever you feel like it. So you'll have it forever. Um, as well as you'll get my official cold calling sheet that we use to cold call leads with um, getting properties. And then with there, uh, we also have the purchase and sell agreement. So the purchase and sell agreement is something that I also have um, to get properties under contract. You feel me? So like I said, if you're interested, it's only $59.99, I'm not charging a lot of money. I'm trying to help the community, if anything. Um, the type of knowledge I'm give, gaining here, I'm giving here, is the type of shit that, and you don't need a real estate license for this. You don't, I don't have a real estate license. You know, um, in certain areas of the country, they made it illegal for you to wholesale without a real estate license. I know in Philadelphia, and I know in Chicago, but with virtual wholesaling, if you live in those cities, you can wholesale in other cities, okay? You might live in Chicago, you can't wholesale in Chicago, but you damn sure can wholesale in Detroit or Cleveland or LA or San Francisco, wherever the fuck you want to, you know what I mean? Um, so tap in below. Also join our Discord, uh, Circa 84. Um, it's growing pretty fast, man. I, I just started this shit on, I think, September 4th. So it's been two months, you know what I'm saying? And we're doing good. Numbers are growing. We're giving out uh, crypto, crypto signals and plays and shit. Option trading, stocks, uh, real estate. So any type of investment you're in, you can join. We're only like-minded individuals. Um, I wanted to have a more controlled environment rather than just use Twitter or any of that type of shit. Um, so anybody that joins this, you know, be a part of the community and contribute. You know, speak, comment. I can't stand when motherfuckers just join shit and they don't say nothing. You know what I mean? As for now, it's free, but uh, there will be there are free channels, but eventually there will be some premium channels that we're gonna roll out uh, pretty soon. I'm not gonna say when exactly, but you could expect it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, join, man. It's free right now. Tap in, join Circa 84 group. Follow me on IG and Twitter. And uh, like I said, um, if you want, if you have any interest on um, doing a book club, like I said, um, comment below or hit me on Twitter, Instagram. I think I might relaunch that shit. I got time for it now. It would, we would probably only meet once a month. If that, probably, yeah, once a month, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'll probably give two books and I would give uh, PDFs. Like I said, I got a whole Google calendar, uh, a whole Google folder full of books with the PDFs that you can tap into if you don't want to buy them. Um, and, you know, if you join the group, I'll just give it to you. You can tap into it. But yeah, that's it. Like, share, comment. Peace.